Hey guys, so I know I'm stretching like it's 5 or 6 a.m. It's not. It's literally 11.30 a.m. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually get my hair tied back. I honestly hate getting my hair wet every time I'm doing my face application. So once I get that out of the way, I'm going to step aside and go grab my facial cleanser so we can get to work. So I go in with my Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. This is the Creamy Formula by Neutrogena. I have really sensitive skin, so this has honestly been the only cleanser that has helped my skin out. So I'm gonna take a quarter size, rub that into my hands really good because I hate applying cold product to my face. Um, and I'm just gonna go straight in. I normally do not add water to my face or wet my face. Um, it, kind of seems weird but I guess for me it just feels like I get a deeper clean with just focusing in with just product um, even though the instructions obviously say otherwise but this is just me after that I'm gonna grab a paper towel and just dry my face I just go in and pat dry I really don't like tugging on my face a lot because I know the tugging can cause wrinkles it can honestly cause distress to your skin so I do always recommend using a clean paper towel. Um, honestly, using the same washcloth and drying your face with that every day is not going to help your skin out. Next, I'm going in with my Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. This is the original formula. I've been using this for probably about five years and I love it as a secondary cleanser to make sure we're getting all the dirt out of my pores. I'm also just using regular cotton rounds. These are the ones from my local grocery store. And if you want the products combined already, they do offer these in a pre-made uh, package, but I ran out of them, so I just wet mine and put them in here for later use. So I went ahead and started cleaning my face with this toner, and I normally will go straight to the sections of my face that have a lot of breakouts, which is, as you can see, on my cheek, on one side of my face, uh, a lot on my chin, and then I just start going and cleaning all the other basically crevices in my face because you know we don't want you to be looking crusty. So I do make sure on my neck I'm moving upwards and you can also use this to clean behind your ears people. Um, you know we want clean ears. You want to make sure that you're getting all the gunk out of there. I'm going to go ahead and dry the toner down and once we're done with that I'm going in with my Snail Mucin Essence. This is definitely a newer product for me, so knowing that it's literal snail secretion is a little weird, but it does keep your face really smooth and healthy. Now, the only thing it does say is to make sure you do apply evenly to face. So I normally take about a single pump, and I do wanna show y'all the texture. It is kind of like a weird slimy texture, but honestly, you can use this as a thin layer on your face to make sure that you're sealing in that moisture Especially after going in with your witch hazel toner, which does help open up your pores to invite in, of course, the essence and the serums. Um, but we're going to go ahead and dry the essence down and, of course, just make sure that our skin is just got enough moisture that we can still invite in the next serum, which is in case the Derma E Vitamin C Serum. I get this at Ulta, it's like 20 bucks, but honestly, every time that I get it, it is a great purchase. It probably lasts about three months. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put it directly on my face. Um, I'm not really a big fan of like putting everything into my hands. I just wanna make sure that I'm being conscious about how much product I'm using. And sometimes product can get absorbed into your hands, which can cause you to end up using more product. So I normally will just go ahead and just start pressing it into my face after putting it on and just drying it down. And if you are somebody that wants to get one of these fans, I got this one at Dollar Tree, but they do sell them at Claire's. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Clarifying Booster Serum. This does have tea tree in the ingredients, so it does help with basically 
speeding up those pimples and of course making sure that any dark spots don't just linger on your face so i normally will go ahead and put it on the areas that i do have a lot of issues with and i'll actually put it on other areas of my face that i may not have any immediate pimples but i just want to make sure nothing comes up so i'm going to go ahead and start patting that into my face making sure that you know i'm not being stingy like your face all of it does need love and i'll normally go ahead pat it in rub it down of course rub any excess product down to my neck and then make sure we dry down again so like i said i would definitely invest in a fan if you're somebody like me next i'm going in with my it confidence in an eye cream um honestly it is something that i got as a sample and so far i kind of like it i do want to make sure and show you all the consistency of it so it's got like the same consistency i would say is maybe like a lotion that you would use but i normally just scoop out enough to fit on the edge of my nail and from there actually we'll put it between my fingers and tap it out under my eyes so i normally just tap 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 and just make sure that we're moisturizing under there because we don't want to neglect that area under your eyes it is very sensitive it's a very soft area and with any soft sensitive thing you want to make sure you do take care of it so i'm going in again with my fan and drying that eye cream down a little bit and now i'm going in with my holy hydration face cream this is from elf honestly i would say comparing this to other products um i fell in love with this product after i started having problems with the neutrogena hydra boost but it does have a similar consistency it's kind of like a gel lotion so i normally will take that little amount that you saw there that I took out and just rub that into my hands like i said and make sure to warm that up and go straight into my face and just pat my moisturizer in so this moisturizer smells really good though and honestly i do kind of put a little bit on my hands if there is excess available and i'll just make sure and moisturize back again those areas that i do have like pimples in because normally you're breaking out because you're like not hydrated and of course we're just drying down again well not drying the floor down but we're drying our face down <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just make sure we dry that moisturizer down because we want to have a solid base now i'm going in it is time to do my makeup so i do go in with my precisely my brow pencil this is in the shade six if you can't see it um, which is basically black um, it's like a neutral black and i will say it's very pigmented so if this is too pigmented for you i would definitely recommend the nyx micro pencil um, it is cheaper so just keep that in mind um, this does have a spoolie on one end so that's pretty nice and it's also retractable so you don't have to worry about it like drying out I would just recommend not losing the cap like me <laughs> so I'm going in combing my brows up I'm just checking for any areas where there's any brow hairs that need to go I'm going in with my pink tweezerman eyebrow tweezers I've had these tweezers I think for like two years and they are literally awesome now i'm going in and just pulling out those hairs and i recommend if you're someone like me where you have to remove hairs to achieve the ideal eyebrow shape that you want just be very careful i normally recommend removing the hairs that are obviously not supposed to be there and then just working your way towards that shape that way you're not just going directly into the middle of your brow and pulling some hair out so after this my eyebrows are looking pretty good like i said i go back and comb them up and just see if there's anything else to take away and since everything's looking good i'm going in and i start at the ends of my eyebrows this just ensures that the ends of my eyebrows are both looking similar your eyebrows are sisters they don't have to be twins but we do not want them to look like cousins so i do recommend if you know working from the back and going forward is easier for you then definitely do so um, i learned that when i started from the beginning of my eyebrow and went back it would always just look terrible so <laughs> that's just my two cents of advice don't be scared to change the method that works for you that way your eyebrows are actually looking really nice 
So I'm going in, I'm doing pretty light strokes to ensure that it's looking somewhat natural. You know, obviously this is makeup, it's not gonna look 100% natural, but I recommend keeping an eye on how much pressure you're using when you're putting that pencil to your eyebrow. Um, that way you're not smudging it on yourself or applying too much product. Um, like I said, the Precisely My Brow pencil has a lot of pigment, so I would recommend for beginners to use the NYX Micro Pencil, and I'll actually link that below in the description. At this point, my eyebrows are looking good. I'm thinking they're looking like twins. So I'm gonna make sure we go through and use, of course, a handy Q-tip slash cotton swab. And this will, of course, help um, just gently remove any additional product. And once I go ahead and clean up under my eyebrows and just double check everything, I'm finally gonna go ahead and get started with my concealer. So this is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. It does have medium coverage, which I really enjoy because I do have, you know, redness and dark spots and of course some, you know, pimples on my face. So I go ahead and just start pressing that into the redness and just make sure that we're going directly into the areas that I know are going to need the most assistance for coverage. So I use it on my redness. Um, of course, I dot it around my chin. I use it under my nose to cover the little red spots under there. And I also use it as my concealer under my eyes and of course uh, upwards on my cheekbones to give my eyes a bit of a lift. As well as just highlighting a very small portion of my forehead because I've got a lot of forehead. So I don't want to do too much. Um, but once that is complete, I'm going to let it dry down and go in with my Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. And I have to say the wand is literally one of my most favorite wands for mascara that I've used recently. It's got an outer curve and it's got an inner curve. So I normally go ahead and I will use the outer curve to separate my lashes and make sure that we're depositing the product all over. And then you do see me kind of flip the wand over and start using the inner curve to deposit additional product. Um, honestly, I would say this is the first time I've used like a, like a high-end mascara. In this case, Lancome is like one of those prestige brands. So this is like my first time trying a product from Lancome, but I've really enjoyed this. And if you see right here, I'm actually using the tip to deposit um, additional product. And that's just to make sure we have like a darker lash line. So it looks really good here. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. I love this spray. It is definitely one of my Holy Grail favorites. My other Holy Grail favorite setting spray is the Milani Make It Last Original. This is the natural finish. And I honestly love layering this with the e.l.f. setting spray. I'm also going in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is what I'm going to be using to actually buff out my concealer. So that way we have like a smooth finish. So I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. spray and spray my brush. I hate going in with a dry brush. It is not my favorite thing to do. And I'm gonna actually make sure we go in and just smooth out all of the concealer since it's dried down a little bit. And like I said, I wanna make sure we're covering my redness, my dark spots, and just making sure we have even coverage all over the face. And of course, once we are done buffing all of this out, it's gonna look a little yellow, but um, this color for the Born to Glow concealer is medium olive, so I don't know, it tends to look crazy on camera, but honestly, it's gonna look great in the pictures at the end of this video, so you'll definitely see that. Now, I do need to moisturize my lips, they are looking dusty. So we're going in with the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this on my lips. Another alternative to this is literally Aquifer. So if you're cheap, I just recommend Aquifer, like don't be ashamed on how you take care of yourself, especially lip products because lip products can tend to be like astronomically expensive. But I'm going to go in and apply this to my lips and just make sure that we're covering, like I said, all my lips because they're looking dusty. Um, and after I apply this, I'm going to go in with my next makeup step, but I just want to make sure I let my lips sit and marinate. So while that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Cody Air Spun Loose Face Powder. You can literally get this at Walmart. And this is the translucent shade. I think I've had this for probably like four years. 
and I have not made really a dent in this. I'm also going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. powder brush. Um, this is like e.l.f.'s higher end brand of brushes that they have and this brush is super duper soft. So I'm going to take that and literally this is just what was uh, stuck to my lid <laughs> and I'm going to actually apply that to my face. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I get really oily so I like to just make sure I apply this all over my face and just press it in. I'm not trying to make myself look ashy and I just want to make sure we conceal the oil. But I'm going to go back with a paper towel and I'm going to go ahead and press that in between my lips to make sure we take off that lip oil. That way my lips, since they are hydrated, can be lined with my lip pencil that I'll be using. So I'm going to go in with my MAC cork lip pencil. I'm going to tell you now, if you do not have this lip pencil, this is probably one of the nicest brown pencils, like universally. Um, it just depends on how much pressure you apply with this particular pencil. So I would recommend if you don't have the MAC cork lip pencil, if you want to try a dupe of it, because I think this pencil is like $19, which can kind of be steep. Um, I would definitely recommend ColourPop uh, in the color BFF3. That's actually a really nice dupe of this. Um, it just depends on how much pressure you apply. It's not as much as a chocolatey brown as this one is, um, but it, it gets pretty close. Um, honestly, if you don't have BFF3 by ColourPop, you can probably try just brown by NYX or I think any of their closer shades. I think like coffee. Um, would be a close shade and I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head but honestly if you have the money if you can fit this pencil in your budget I would recommend it honestly this was definitely a risky purchase for me because I'm lighter skin toned and I thought it was gonna look funky on me but I did realize it just depends on how much pressure you apply when using this particular pencil and honestly it's beautiful once it's smoothed out so I'm going to go ahead and let that sit and go in with my e.l.f. crease brush. I love this brush. I think this brush is like three bucks at Walmart. And honestly, I use this probably every freaking day. I'm actually going to use it with my Hula Benefit in the mini size. Um, honestly, if you're someone like me who's kind of skeptical about products working for you, just buy it in a mini size. That way you're not losing out. But it does come with its own little brush. And it's honestly a nice bronzy color. So I'm going to take that dip it into the little container and just start working in my crease and for some reason I have like difficulty I guess when it comes to just eyeshadow I think it's because I kind of have like a weird eye shape like I kind of have that little lap on top of my eye and you know I just don't really like using a lot of color as well so I just take this color and just focus it in my outer corner and just try to brush it out I don't really bring it into my inner corner like very much because every time I do that it tends to look really muddy on me and I don't know what's going on but this is just the technique that works for me I'm just more of a less is more kind of girl so normally if it's looking good I'm just gonna leave it at that but I'm going to go in now with my setting spray and this is the e.l.f. setting spray and we're going to go ahead and just dry that down. And I'm going to go ahead and you'll see in just a moment but I'm going to actually end up spraying a second layer of the e.l.f. setting spray. Um, like I said I have oily skin but I want to make sure that I seal my face in. So I'm going to go ahead and after that second layer we're just going to dry that down again. Of course, I just want to make sure that we're just locking in all that hard work that we put into our face. Um, I just don't like the idea of my face melting off as the day goes on. So after this, I'm going to go in with my lip products, which are the Buxom lip glosses. One's a cream and one's a gloss. So first we're going to go in with Dolly, which this was a recommendation as well that I saw from Arnell Armand. Um, I kid you not, I probably live on that girl's channel. She just doesn't know, but she was the reason why I decided to try out this particular lip combo of the cork and the dolly and the white Russian, which you'll see me use later. But 
it's honestly proven to be such a gorgeous color on me and I love it and I think it's honestly a perfect combination for like my skin tone for this time of year as we're going into like the fall and the winter and it just is very complimentary to darker color palettes but honestly that shouldn't limit you from what time of year that you decide to wear this because honestly I was wearing this lip combination towards the end of the summer when I decided to buy cork and to buy these glosses as well. So after I get done lining everything up with Dolly, I'm going back and I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges of my lips and making sure that we rub the gloss and cork together. After that, I'm going in with White Russian. This is actually a lip cream by Buxom, but it honestly blends beautifully with the lip gloss. So after I put it on the center of my bottom lip, I just go through and make sure and rub it in. And if everything's looking good, I'll just go straight in and start working on my contour on my nose. Um, I don't necessarily have a big nose, honestly, but I just love the look that I get from this. Like my nose looks more defined and it just looks so cute, um, which I thoroughly enjoy. Also, I'm going in on the sides of my face and brushing up with my bronzer. I'm using the brush that the Hula Bronzer came with. And I would honestly recommend if you are someone that applies your bronzer, apply it uh, sweeping upwards. It just looks better and it doesn't drag your face down. So I'm also going in and just applying a little bit to the sides of my face. You know, I'm not doing anything crazy. We're not doing like, you know, back in 2016 where we were kind of deeply contouring. I'm just more so adding warmth to my face and just a touch of definition. Also, I like to make sure and add the bronzer to my forehead. Uh, your girl's got a big forehead. Okay, we can see that. You saw that at the beginning of the video uh, when I pulled my hair back. So <laughs> we just want to make sure and apply the warmth up there as well as on my neck. Um, I think that's something that we definitely don't want to forget is making sure your makeup goes down to your neck, but I'm looking pretty good. I'm also going to take just a little bit and go right under my lip just to create just a little touch of a shadow and I like to make sure I blend a little bit of the bronzer onto my chin since my chin tends to get really white for some reason. Um, but I'm going in with my Milani setting spray and drying that down. I know I look really freaking mad but I promise you I'm just tired. <laughs> so I look so mad but so gorgeous. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in and spray my roots of my hair with this Herbal Essence Argan Oil and Aloe Spray. I'm also going to lay my edges down real quick with this Miracle Edges Edge Control by Kaleidoscope. Shoe game, mean dress game so proper, chain so big, can't pop my collar, pop my collar, can't pop my collar, chain so big, can't pop my collar. She thinks she is somebody stop her. 